In this video, we are going to derive the steady state error when a system is excited with unit step input. That means when we given unit step as input signal, then what is the steady state error that we are going to derive here. So generally, we discussed about steady state error and static error constants and type order of the system before this video. So here according to steady state error, we already derived the equation for steady state error. That equation is ESS is equivalent to according to final value theorem, steady state error is equivalent to limit S tends to 0 S into E of S. You already calculated E of S value where E of S is equivalent to R of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. In steady state error concept itself, so we discussed these two, we derived these two. So steady state error is equivalent according to final value theorem we can write like this and where the error transform of the error is equivalent to R of S by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So you can see that video related to steady state error to get the idea about these two equations. So now we are having these equations in our hand now we need to find out the steady state error. So here we need to find out the steady state error when the input is unit step signal. In control system the input is represented with R of t and the transform of input is represented with R of s. The input R of t is equivalent to U of t. They are saying the input is U of t. We are exciting the system with the unit step function or the output for this input means the input of the system is unit step. So that is why I consider U of t. But I need R of s not R of t. So that is why so I am going to consider Laplace transform on both sides then I am going to get 1 by s. We know that Laplace transform of u of t is equivalent to 1 by s. So now I am going to substitute this value here. So I am going to substitute this value and this value in this equation, equation number 1. From equation number 1, so ESS steady state er error is equivalent to limit s tending to 0. In place of S, yes, I am taking S, yes. in place of E of S, yes. so I am going to write R of S yes means 1 by S yes divided by 1 plus G of S yes into H of S. Yes. You can cancel this S yes and S yes. and here the steady state error is equivalent to S tends to 0, 1 by 1 plus G of S yes into H of S. Yes. Here 1 is constant, 1 is constant, this limit will apply only here. So that is why I am writing this equation in terms of limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s. So now in the previous video itself we discussed the static error constants. If you see this equation, this is equal into position error constant kp. So now therefore I am writing ESS is equal into 1 by 1 plus kp where kp is position error constant. This value I am considering like kp where kp is the position error constant. So here this is the value of steady state error when the when we given unit step signal as input. When we given unit step signal as input, the steady state error ESS is equivalent to 1 by 1 plus kp. Now we will see what is the steady state error for the unit step input if the system is type 1 system. So for example, if type 0 system is there, if type 0 system is there, then here we need to consider limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s value. So that means I want to take kp value. So for type 0 system, I am taking type 0 system, the steady state error for type 0 system is 1 by 1 plus kp. This kp is going to vary for type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3. So kp is equivalent to limit s tending to 0 g of s into h of s. So I given 
in the video of type order of the system the general transfer function equivalent to g of s into h of s the general loop transfer function relating to g of s into h of s can be written as k into s plus z1 s plus z2 so on divided by so here s power n here s power n means n indicates the number of poles at origin for a type 0 system there won't be any poles at origin so that's why i'm not taking this s term here so directly i'm writing so s plus p1 s plus p2 so on here s power n will be there that n is equivalent to 0 for type 0 system so now if you observe this equation this is equivalent to g of s into h of s so now for this i need to apply limit s tending to 0 here s power 0 is equivalent to 1 no need to consider s power 0 for a type 0 system so this is the fundamental equation to represent g of s into h of s for better classification you just go for type order of the system so here you can see if you substitute s tends to 0 then you are going to get so k into z1 into z2 so on divided by p1 into p2 so on so this value is a constant zeros and poles you will get so this value is a constant divided by this value is constant so this is constant and this is also constant so you are going to get kp total kp is equal to constant then your study state error ess is equal to 1 by 1 plus constant so this is equal to again you are going to get constant study state error for a type 0 system if your system is type 0 system the study state error for unit step signal will be constant so like this we will define the output or study state of a study state error of the system according to the type order of the system and input of the system for example if you consider type 1 system if you consider type 1 system i am writing i am writing this ess here so by this knowledge ESS is equal to 1 by 1 plus constant. So, this is equal to constant. You are going to get constant. So, here in this case, this is equal to constant. I am going to take it for type 1 system. If you are taking for type 1 system, again the formula for ESS for unit step function is 1 by 1 plus KP only. But kp is equal to limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s for a type 1 system so the g of s into h of s value is going to vary like this k into s plus uh, sorry k into s plus z1 into s plus z2 so on divided by for a type 1 system in the fundamental equation of s power n this value will become n is equal to 1 for a type 1 system the number of poles at origin will be equal to 1 that's why we need to take s power 1 into s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on into s plus p3 so on if you apply s tends to 0 here you are going to get 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 form you are getting means you are going to get infinity so kp is equal to infinity you are going to get then the study state error ess is equal to so 1 by 1 plus infinity if you are taking 1 by 1 plus infinity then that is equal to 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so if your system is type 1 system or more the order of the system is 1 or more if you are giving unit step input then the steady state error will be 0 if your order is less than 1 and if you are giving 
you read step signal some error will be there that error is some constant. So, here how you will get that steady state error means you are having formula according to given E of S you need to substitute and you will get. But I am tracing without without calculating this formula I can say if my uh, type of the system is one or more if I give an unit step input I use it to get zero as error without using this formula I can say if that is type zero system definitely you will get some steady state error. So, here for a type 1 system I got ES is equivalent to steady state error is equivalent to 0. Type 2 system for example you will get S square into S plus P1 S plus P2 so on. So, number of poles at origin will be 2 for a type 2 system. Here also you will get 0 1 divided by 0 you will get infinity in case of KP and you will get ESS as 0 if you consider S cube, S44 or anything. So, you are going to get infinity for KP position error constant and for according to that your steady state error is going to be equal to 0. So, this is about steady state error when the input is unit step function for type 0 and type 1 and more than type 1 systems.